Hey there, crew. It's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today. I officially have my subscription box in my hands. I got it this past weekend and I thought, hey, let's sit down and let's go through everything in the box. I did my reaction video when Bonnie and Archer and Olive did their official unboxing and chatting through everything that was inside of this forest heirloom kit. So I was excited to get all of these items in my hands myself. It's one thing seeing them on the screen and hearing other people talk about them, but having them in your hands makes all the big difference. So Today's video, we're going to chat through it. We're going to go through everything inside of here to share my overall like actual physical reactions to these things. As I was opening up the box and I just took all the plastic off of everything just for ease of conversation today, the first thing that actually stood out to me were the acrylographs because the this packaging has a, a texture to it now. Where usually in the past they were just white and kind of flat. Um, this is really nice and I just noticed it right off the top as I was opening it up and it looks super nice. One thing we didn't see inside of the unboxing video from Archer and Olive as if there was names on these and I don't believe there are. Boom. So these are the colors though. Um, I don't have any of the official names just yet. I was really hoping that they were going to be on the acrylograph pens as they have been in the past, but for some reason they kind of went backwards on these. I feel like the last time we got names was the Amanda Rach Lee had all of the names on top of them. And then even the previous, one of some of the most recent acrylograph collections had names on them too. And the other uh, calligraph pens have them, so I'm not quite sure why we're not getting names when we had names, but I want names back. It would be so much easier to do. I'm pretty sure that Archer and Olive, though, does have the official names out here for these somewhere, so if I find them, I'll link them in the descriptions below for you so you can take a look. The other thing I was excited, I actually already pulled this out and used this this past week for my Plan With Me series, uh, which is the wooden ruler. So what's super cool about this one is that it is in centimeters, which then uses millimeters to count up from there. And inside of the Archer and Olive dot grid notebooks, they are five millimeter dot grid. So it's five millimeters for each one of those squares. So they put this inside of here. It's made out of wood. It's nice. It uh, definitely goes with the overall theme of this box with this uh, forest heirloom. We will see a lot of the repeating patterns as we do with a lot of these. Overall, nice, solid, ruler no qualms about it other than that it's a little difficult to use if you're used to using a clear ruler as i do for a lot of my plan with me so as i'm drawing out my lines uh i couldn't see through this one so i kind of maneuver myself around the notebook but thought it was really nice i have been thinking on whether or not i would actually ever refer to the measurements inside of a notebook in millimeters to be like oh this is 20 millimeters or eight centimeters or whatever that might be I just call them boxes or squares a lot of the times, and I think that might be easier. I feel like it's more of a universal kind of conversation piece, but definitely like this. So join my ruler collection that I have. Uh, overall, like it. You know, the I think about this a lot. We have such conversations around like gendering things, right? Like it's stationary. It shouldn't necessarily be made for man or woman or you know non-binary or or anything else. It's just. Style, I think, is what we really got to call it. So while I'm not going to be like carrying this around with me everywhere, it's just not fully my style. I can definitely appreciate it. It'll be here in my studio as another tool to use if I'm grabbing a ruler. I'm not worried about not using it because of it, but it might not be the one I go to grab when I put something inside of my bag to, to take elsewhere. But I like it nonetheless. Um, it is definitely nice. Something a little bit different. Can't be mad at it. Hopefully it holds up well uh, to everything that's going on. All right, this is one of the things that was inside of here that I'm just kind of like, what the hell am I gonna do with this? I know that the subscription box is not just made for me. I know their subscription boxes are curated and are super nice, but when I saw the vintage inspired ribbon as something that was going to be in this box, I was kind of like, what do you do with it? What's really nice are these wooden spools that are on top of it. I'm like, that's super cool, it can use those. Um, but. They sent out an email, Archer and Olive sent out an email. It was like, here's what you can do with these vintage ribbons. And I thought it was kind of funny because I was like, yeah, what would I do with these? And all the ideas, while interesting ideas, are not how I go. I'm not going to use these. I'm sorry. Let me just be honest. Not going to use them. Uh, it'll be something that'll be down here in the studio. If my girls want to use it for something, they can. But there were some cool ideas like using it as a bookmark, um, cutting it and using it and layering it inside of your journals. And if you're into that type of thing, I think you might really love these. I did see some people online that were actually more excited for the wooden spool than they were the ribbon itself. So I'll be keeping my eyes out for what are people going to do with the wooden spools aside 
from just like keeping them around the studio, I don't know, what would you use a wooden spool for? So we did get those. So interesting to look at. Cool, like vintage vibey thing going on. But, you know, am I going to use it? No. But, you know, that's what happens with subscription boxes. You don't really always know what you're going to get. And that's totally okay. All right. The next thing in here are the decorative tapes or the washi tapes. They've just become a staple of like everything. So anytime you get a kit, anytime you get a subscription box, uh, you get washi tape now. So it just continues to grow my collection, which is totally cool. I don't buy a lot of washi myself unless it's Eric Small things. And then yes, I do buy a lot of washi when it comes down to it. So there are four of the washi tapes inside of here. We got some interesting designs, uh, the pine cones, the pomegranates, the flowers, the leaves on this big thick one that's here is pretty nice. A lot of pinks, so it's not my go-to color a lot, but uh, my daughters definitely love pink and those colors like that, which, you know, Cool, they get to use them. Uh, we have another little bit of a thinner one here. So this has some of those same type of like collection of, the, what is that, wheat, I guess it was, or some other pieces, leaves with a nice little design. Uh, this is a nice dark color here, if you can see that one uh, pretty well. Hopefully you can. This has a little bit of patterns inside of it. Uh, this is, oh, it's a little um, A-frame house. I know that there's a notebook in here that has it on the front. This one actually is really nice. A-frame house has some flowers and leaves and some other things that are around it, uh, which are really nice. And then the small one here, which is really interesting because I never noticed this. And then I was watching some unboxings and someone was like, there's a pattern on here. And as someone that is partially color deficient, uh, I was very difficult to kind of see on here, but I'll get you a close up of it. it. Looks like little hearts maybe inside of there. I feel like my eyes are crossing as I'm just trying to look at what the pattern is, but it's very light, very subtle uh, that's inside of there. So we got those four washi tapes inside of the subscription box as well. All right, very excited about this here. Stamps. So I did a video recently that was talking about my predictions for things that are gonna be coming up. I hate ripping the boxes, but it's not gonna stay inside this paper box anyway. But I was really excited because I had a prediction that we were gonna see more stamps from Arch and Olive. I thought that they were going to be more clear stamps as we've seen from them, but no, we got a beautiful, I just absolutely love it, alphabet inside of a wonderful wood box, um, loving the color, loving the sans serif font that is on top of here, loving that I can just keep that right on top of my desk as like my little tchotchkes that are going on and easily grab them. And overall, think it's really cool. Everything looks all right. I did see somebody online that said that some of their letters were misplaced, uh, where like the G and I think the N maybe, uh, I forget, were mixed. So they had like the rubber, G on the bottom of the end, but mine looked to be okay. I'll double check mine um, at a different time, but so far everything is looking good as I just accidentally threw them all <laughs> out of here. But we'll take a closer look to those, but super excited to have these now in my collection. I can stick over here and use nice and easy. All right, let's go ahead and open up. You know what, let's do it. Flower press. So this is something I'm excited about. I know a lot of people were not. I saw a lot of chatter online that people were like, what in the hell is Archer and Olive doing, including a flower press inside of a subscription box? Like this isn't stationary and they're not wrong. It's definitely not like your normal notebook. I think a lot of people get these subscription boxes because they think they're going to get like a bunch of notebooks and that isn't always true, but you get some different cool things. So inside of here is the flower press I'm gonna take it all the way out of here to really get a good look at it. I've never used a flower press before. I was telling my wife about it and she's like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like, that'll be neat to see how it works. She's like, I just used a big encyclopedia when I was a kid. Like, I didn't need like any special tools or anything like that. She's not wrong. People definitely uh, use it that way. But on top of here, we have our little deals. This kind of holds it and presses it down. It looks to be a handful, oh. Oh, my little screw fell out there. Uh, it looks to be a bunch of pieces of cardboard, and then it looks like there's tissue paper layered between each one of these here. So my guess is that you take your flowers or plants, really, right? It could be anything that can be pressed and put them inside of here, layer them together, keep them pressed. Inside of the box, there is a QR code that we are going to use to give us actual directions on what this looks like. Um, but I think the idea is pretty simple, right? You put flowers or plants in between here, you press them down, and then my guess is that you wait a handful of days, 
months? I don't know. I'm impatient as hell, so I'm hoping that this happens really fast and it doesn't take months before I can use something. Uh, but let's go ahead and take this off. So we've got the wood block top. And then, yeah, we have uh, just pieces of cardboard here. And in between each of those are little pieces of white tissue paper. So that will be what we use to put floral findings inside of here. So excited to try it out. I've never done uh, flower pressings before. I was actually thinking that I might do, um, I don't know how many flowers. I honestly still have a handful around outside. I know we still have some morning glories that keep popping up every day. I'm trying to think what else we have outside. My wife has a handful of other plants that she got this year that are flowering really nicely. I do have one succulent that is about to flower. I don't even know what it's going to flower. Like I've never seen a succulent flower before. And this one is a big spiky one and has some beautiful like orange things that are coming off of it. So I'll be collecting all of those and trying them out inside of my flower press. So excited for it. All right. So this is one of the notebooks that we got. I know there's two of them that are in here. This first one here is going to be that A-frame house or the same design that we saw on that washi tape is here. It does have a, a ring binding to it. And at first I was a little bit bummed about it. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh gosh, as a lefty, my hands are always hitting up against this. But as always, the community is fantastic. And they're like, hey Mark, don't forget dot grids are horizontal and vertical. So turn your notebook this way and then you can use it, which I was like, that's a super smart idea. <laughs> so inside of here, we do have a really, really nice foil stamp on the inside of that cover there that has just some more like the wheat, flower, plants, acorns, ferns, and things like that. We do have the pocket here in the back if you wanna tuck a handful of things inside of there. The binding and rings are really nice. I love that. They need to be nice and sturdy. I hate nothing more than having like you press up against it, like flattens out on you. No one likes any of that. But I also really love the design that's on the cover here too. I think that's actually super special. So this will be hanging out here on my desk. I think that I could use it for a handful of things. 160 GSM paper inside of here, no page numbers, but we don't ever get page numbers inside of Archer and Olives, at least not yet. So hopefully we'll see. I was excited when I uh, did a few reels on Instagram around page numbers and talked about it. Archer and Olive did give me a little wink and they were like, oh, we'll have to keep this in thought for the future. And I was like, maybe this is telling us something. Exclusive, exclusive. All right, almost forgot about these two little things inside of here. <laughs> They're so small. All right, so the first here is translucent stickers. So these are interesting. So we've seen a lot of different types of stickers, little like flake stickers and things like that come inside of these packages. I was actually surprised to see there's only a few of these because usually there's like 10 or 12, but we have one, two, three, four of them that are inside of here. And what Bonnie mentioned is that these are translucent on the edges. So when you lay this inside of your notebook, you'll see that it looks kind of like a watercolor painting on your pages, which is kind of neat. Um, so for those different styles of what they look like here, so you have the A-frame, you have the like, I keep calling it wheat, <laughs> that's inside of here and little like berries, the pomegranate and the orange. So I think beautiful designs, absolutely love the way that they look. Um, interesting that we only got four of them though. I feel like there could be a handful more, just me personally. I absolutely love, they give you everything that you need. So you get the stamps, you get an ink pad and put that on there. So this comes in the same type of like, very color appropriate, you know, color of the things here. Um, we'll do a quick stamp to see what it looks like. All right, and then the last thing we have inside of here, this is Beast. I did not realize that this thing was so big. It looked much smaller in the pictures. This is going to be the velvet covered notebook. It's pretty. It's velvet, look at that. So this was very interesting. So I feel like they're always trying different things. You know, you gotta love it about it. Mm, this feels like Christmas, this is very nice. So on the front of the cover there, you have the foil stamp with a lot of the same images that we've seen so far, kind of like, I keep calling it wheat, but it's like flowers, acorns, um, all wrapped up in a nice little bouquet, which is super nice. The, the big thing about this notebook is that it has like a rose gold edging on it. So we have seen metallic and rainbow, and we've seen gold as well. I'm trying to think if we've seen any other ones, but this is like a, a subtle, not as like bright gold, but like a little like kind of like a darker rose gold, I guess, is what I would call it. The other big thing about this is that the closure is not elastic. 
It is a ribbon. So I know I'm going to accidentally rip these out of here by accident. I'm not going to do it on purpose. Um, it's pretty snug. So that's important. <laughs> uh, so inside we have really nice art that's inside of this notebook here. And then the other thing is that this is cream colored paper instead of the bright white. So if I take my, there we go. <laughs> we had some pages here. So here we go. So this is going to be the white paper. And then this is going to be the cream paper over on the side. So it's not horrible. It's very nice. It's very soft. I will tell you, like, I don't mind that at all. I think it's very beautiful. And then you just kind of, I don't think I will be tying this notebook, maybe just to have it on the shelf, but you tie it up, tie a nice bow if you want to. And then you have to fiddle with a knot to open it up. I think it's very cool just from a standpoint of like, we haven't seen it before. It's a subscription box. These are supposed to be fun. And what's also cool is that it starts to like open up ideas for the future. We've seen it happen before. We saw it with the wax seals. Those did really well. They had great feedback. We saw more with the fall collection. They did awesome with the stamps, the clear stamps in the in the previous boxes as well. I was trying to think that, you know, the, the alphabet stamps that are here remind me a bit of like the, the watercolor box, which is up here. So when they did their watercolor collection, they also included this really nice wood box that houses all of the watercolor inside of here. So this all fits together. I don't know if it's intentional. It's a product and I feel like it probably is intentional, but the dark wood has such a beautiful quality to it. I absolutely love it. And I think that these stamps are awesome. I'm excited to try them out a little bit and uh, you know see how they work. Sometimes these little ones can be difficult. They don't snap together, so you have to hold them together. But a lot of the times it's just easy, nice to kind of dab them down and, and get a good look at them. So everything inside of here is really nice. I can definitely say my favorite thing are the alphabet stamps, hands down, big stamp fan. I think that the packaging is really wonderful for it and I love it. I think the other things are nice too. I'm going to say like, I don't like this box. I think it is nice, but I definitely like the notebooks. Um, the spiral bound, I'm a big fan of. This is something that I can definitely see myself using. It's kind of neutral enough that I wouldn't have any problem carrying around with me. Um, not that I should be embarrassed by notebooks, but there's just certain versions of taking something to work that is just going to look a little bit more professional with me than it would for somebody else. But this is something super nice that I can totally jot down notes inside of. I love the idea of using it as a top down um, instead of the open. So it can look super cool like a notebook, but when I'm actually using it, fold the back and, and write across it this way and down and that way these stay at the top. So really good idea from the community on this one. And I'm excited for the flower press. I think that's really neat and cool. If you have an issue with any of these things or you're like, this isn't what I expect from my stationary box, not my sub box. I don't mean this in a, in a mean way, but I feel like at this point, we got to kind of get over the fact that these subscription boxes are not always going to include three or four journals with kind of all these pieces and what people expect. They're supposed to be fun. That's the whole idea about them. And I do understand that this is a luxury. Do not get me wrong. Spending what's now with shipping and the new cost close to almost $100 for a quarterly subscription box not everyone is in the same financial situation to be able to do that. So I can understand it. But what's always great about Archer and Olive is they give their customers options. So if you want to buy in for the subscription box, you love what's inside of here. This is totally you. You can actually still purchase the subscription box. It will enroll you in the subscription box subscription. So you get these quarterly. But if you only want this one and you don't want the rest after you get your box, you can pause or cancel your subscription. No problems whatsoever. Archer and Olive wants you to be happy. But like me, I always keep them going. I don't ever pause them, even after I see what's inside of them, because a lot of the times these are things that you're not going to maybe ever see again. I hope that they would release something like these stamps to the general public. But if not, then everyone who got this subscription box, these are the people who will now have the Archer and Olive stamps and uh, we'll have them and we'll be so happy using them and others might not ever be able to get them. So I don't know. That's why I keep them going. I think it's fun. Let me know what your favorite thing was from the box. I always love to have the conversations in the comments down below. And if you are interested in purchasing the subscription box, I'll actually put my affiliate link for you down in the descriptions below. You can sign up for that. If you use that link, gives me credit as an affiliate with Archer and Olive, but at no extra cost to you. And the same thing 
same goes for my discount code. You can't use the discount code with this subscription box, but if you ever wanna buy just individual notebooks, pens, or any of the other collections, you can use Men Who Bullet 10, and that gets you 10% off of the purchase, your entire purchase for eligible items. I think at this point, almost everything is eligible, but you can get that, and they don't add anything. It's just a nice way to be like, hey, Mark, I like you as a creator. I wanna make sure you get credit for it, and then uh, you get a discount, and then I get a little, like, little kickback, and that's always cool. So love this, really excited to get all these things up and running. I'll definitely do a video in the future on the flower press and how that went, just as a fun little side hobby for myself. Who knows what else I'll get into. So as always, appreciate you hanging out and I'll talk with you later on. Happy planning.